congratulations on the win tonight. Uh, can you just talk about what you guys were able to do? I mean, you were shorthanded. You only had seven scholarship players available. East Carolina made their runs at times, but you were able to maintain a lead the entire way. Uh, what can you say about your team's uh, effort getting the win tonight? Um, you know, before the game, Coach said we got to play harder, uh, smarter, and more together. And I feel like that's what you got to do for every win, and I feel like that's what we did tonight for this dog. Darren, four guys in double figures. Talk about just the team nature of this. A lot of guys contributing tonight. Um, we know we were down um, a couple players, and, you know, we had guys step up. Isaiah came out strong. Darius, um, you know, that's what it takes when we're down guys like that, especially we're missing Brandon. Um, you know, that's a big threat on offense. And um, so, you know, we just played together. Darren, what's the value of winning five of your last six heading into the conference tournament? Um, that's what any team could ask for. Um, you know, it just gives you confidence going into the tournament. And um, I think that's what we needed, um, especially with the kind of season that we had. Um, you know, that's, what, that's everything we could ask for. Darren, you hit that three-pointer late in the game to put your, put your team up seven and basically kind of ice the game. How what did that kind of do for your team's confidence after letting them get kind of close? Um, you know, DP, he saw me the whole way. Isaiah set the screen for me to, um, you know, get open. Um, you know, we still had to play D after that and get stopped. But, you know, that's what we practice that every day and practice. So, you know, it's, it's our routine. Darren, I know you're originally from North Carolina. I know Dre Fuller's got some uh, North Carolina ties as well. Is it more special, you know, getting a win in, in your home state? And did you maybe have any family or friends uh, at this game? Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely special. I mean, any any win is special no matter where you are. But uh, especially for me and Dre, you know, in our home state, I didn't have any family here due to COVID. You know, they ain't want to, you know, step out and kind of stand close to home. I'm from Charlotte, so it's not not that close. But, um, yeah, it was definitely special and a good win for us. Now that we're in, we're at the end of the regular season here, how would you describe what this season has been like with all of its difficulties and differences and stoppages and, you know, what's it been like for you? Um, it's just been unpredictable. Um, you know, we had with the injuries and the, and the stoppages due to COVID. I mean, we had Tony go down at halftime on the first game of the season, like, we couldn't have predicted that. Colin out before the season even started, we couldn't have predicted that. So, um, you know, we can't predict who's going to catch COVID or not. All we can do is just, um, you know, do the things to prevent prevent us from getting it. But, yeah, it's just an unpredictable season. And good. now we just got to, you know, stay disciplined off the court and try not to catch COVID so we can get through the tournament. And um, that's the only way we can go about it. Darren, can you talk about the impact of Avery Diggs here uh, here late in the season? He's really made a huge impact here in, in these last couple of games for you guys. Avery's been working all season. Um, in practice, he's been going hard, and you could definitely see him stepping up his game in practice. Um, he's getting his confidence back. Um, it's who he could have been all season, you know. Um, but now glad it's finally coming out of him. It's coming out at the right time, going into the tournament, we can definitely we definitely need him. You'll see ECU again. What did you learn about them tonight? Um, they don't give up. You know, you might have a lead on them, but they're going to definitely fight back. They're a great team. Uh, they play inside out just like us. Um, they got good bids, good guards, and it's definitely a fight every time we play them. Darren, what's it been like to play with Isaiah Adams this year as a freshman uh, and, and just the talent you've seen from him? What's it been like? Um, well, I knew they could do it. I played with him in high school um, in AAU, so I always knew they could, he can hoop. Um, he actually started us off well tonight. I think he went three for four, like first couple minutes of the game. And, you know, once he gets going, he's going. So that's what we need from him.